join kids hat family hey tofu hi tia what's the matter are you all right no i'm not through some series of events jim pam and i have to compete against roll and tina in the quiz contest tomorrow don't you want to we don't think we should roll tina and joe have been preparing for this for 2 months now joe has fallen ill so that leaves only roll and tina on their team plus we are a grade ahead of them It's only by a lucky draw that we have ended up against them. We didn't even want to participate, but if we do, we will definitely win. Hmm. So you are worried that if you defeat them, it'll be sheer luck and not by preparation. Yes, and it is unfair to them because they really want to win while we've ended up there by chance. Maybe you can let them win. How will that work? The way it did with the reluctant dragon. Once upon a time, a shepherd saw a strange creature while herding his sheep. Afraid of the creature, he ran home and told his wife and son about it. You will not believe what I saw today. A huge creature with wings. The size of four horses with long sharp claws and a long tail. It has scales all over it. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. I'm sure it is. The excited little boy ran out in the fields to find this creature that his father just spoke about. And sure enough, It was a ferocious dragon. H- Hello. How are you? Hello, boy. What are you doing here? I thought there were no more dragons left in the world. You are partially right. There aren't many of us left. The dragon told the boy stories of dragon hunters and many fierce dragons who had bravely fought them. but had ultimately lost the battle fascinated by the majestic dragon and his stories the boy kept returning to him every day and they became good friends one day when the boy was in the village he overheard some villagers talking Saint George the dragon slayer is coming. He will slay the dragon who is living in our village. Afraid for the dragon's life, the boy ran to him and told him everything he had heard. Ah, Saint George is a courageous dragon slayer. He has killed many dragons. Then you must fight him. No, I will not. He will kill you if you don't fight him. I am sure you will find a way before it comes to that. Saying so, the dragon went into his cave and slept. The boy ran to the village to find that Saint George had already arrived and the villagers were talking to him. He's a mean dragon. He ate all our cattle. Yes, and he burned out huts down too. They are lying. He's a very good and a kind dragon. He's my friend. Hearing this strange protest, Saint George took the boy aside and asked him what he meant. Is it true what you just said? Yes. He would never harm anyone. He's my friend, and I know him very well. He even refuses to fight you. You must not fight him either. That is not possible, boy. The villagers want to see a fight and we must give them one. Take me to your dragon. The boy took Saint George to the dragon's cave. 
But the dragon still refused to fight. We can pretend to fight. I will not harm you and you will not harm me. When I throw the spear, you pretend that it hits you. Pretend to get hurt. Hmm, I can do that. But you must promise a feast after that. The next morning, the villagers gathered in the open field to see the fight they had been waiting for. And what a fight it was! St. George lured the dragon into a trap and threw his spear at him as he tried to escape it. The dragon fell on the ground with a huge thud and couldn't get up again. Kill! Kill! Cut off his head! Cut off his head! I think he has learnt his lesson and he will not bother anyone again. We can spare his life. The villagers rejoiced hearing St. George's decision. Later, as promised, there was a large feast laid out. Everybody was happy. The boy was happy that the dragon was safe. The villagers were happy that they got to see a fight. St. George was also happy that he won the fight and the dragon was happy that the villagers were no longer afraid of him. And he had made so many new friends. That's a great idea, Tia. We too can be like St. George and the dragon and not win the competition tomorrow. That way, we can be fair towards them. Good choice, Tofu. And always remember that losing to let someone win for a good cause is okay. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.